What about the losers? What about the losers? Second place or worse, far from cheers and exultations, head in hand or pacing claustrophobia. At least we played the game, so close and yet so far. If it wasn't for that hit, that swing, bad hop, bad turn, bad call, ball rolling off the fingertips, fleeting laps in concentration, practiced my butt off, studied for years, made the right moves, met the right people, flattered, bantered, kissed their asses, did without, planned ahead, if it wasn't for contracting markets, change in habits, insufficient cash flow, someone with more contacts, friend of brother, second cousin, old school tie, secret handshake, lies and accusations, loser, 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 failure, lemon, flopper, rue. I don't want a stupid ribbon, don't want the sloppy seconds, second best, second hand, greasy gruel at B-list parties, legless wine, polyester fabric, cloying banquet consolations, finalists who never had a chance blew the chance I had, never strong enough, never smart enough, didn't work enough, wasn't hungry, too small, too slow, too bored, too lazy, too distracted, too fucked up, I deserve to lose. In the corner of an empty room, a lonely man constructs his fantasy. A tree of life unfolding overhead, molting blue and silver leaves, each a coupon for women's love, exotic travel, expensive cars, enormous houses. He reaps his slips of paper, presses them against his aging body like a multicolored blanket, then stands up naked, throws them to a rising wind, and watches as they drift and climb toward ancient burnt-out stars, scales his leafless tree, jumps into the olive ocean, swims to distant treeless coast, on which crowds of people cheer for the joy of making noise.